welcome to fashion week day number one i'm sorry for the scuffed setup today but i am running a tiny bit late actually i only need to be at this place by like 5 30 because it starts at 6 30 and it's currently 2 21 <laughs> but i am going by train so i do need to be at the station at like 5 not 5 3 30 i think so i shouldn't be talking to a camera while doing my makeup because this is literally the reason why i don't go live on tiktok anymore i mean one of the reasons but i just figured that whenever i talk while trying to do my makeup it takes me so much longer to do my makeup anyways i'm gonna try and do my best welcome to lisbon fashion week day one and that's a bit of a lie because fashion week only starts on friday and today is a wednesday leading up to fashion week uh, we have a few fashion week related events like some talks in which you get to know people from the industry and they're usually like fashion related talks with a different team for every single one of them and I am going to one of them today uh, there are gonna be a few more tomorrow but tomorrow I have a full day of classes so I'm not going to any and then I'm going to a show on Saturday so make sure you keep watching for that today I'm going to a place in Lisbon to which I've never been to that and the fact that I have to take the train by myself um, I'm freaking out I mean mm, I could be worse, but yeah, I can't even speak, this is a mess. Today I am going to a talk, and the team is fashion after fashion, so I'm excited to see what the person who's giving the lecture like has to say about that and their interpretation of that. This is going to be a lecture given by Danilo Venturi. Sorry, I don't speak Italian, even though that's literally one of my dreams, like bucket list items, I want to learn how to speak Italian. But he is the director of YED in Florence. And for those of you who don't know, YED is a fashion related university. They have a lot of campus, like in Italy, in Spain. I think they also have a few in Brazil and they want to open one here in Lisbon, which is literally the best thing ever. He's going to be talking about his interpretation of what fashion after fashion means. And at the end, he's going to be talking a little bit about Yed and doing a little... Oh my god, that was too much. <laughs> he's also going to do like a little Q&A about the university that I'm also extremely excited for because guys, guess what? A few months ago, I applied to Yed in Milan for a summer course in fashion marketing and I got accepted. So this summer in July I'm going to be in Milan so please let me know any recommendations for places to check out and like things to do because I'm going to be there for a whole month by myself. Um, and I'm also going to be vlogging the whole experience uh i want to like see how it is to live by myself to be in milan i've never been to milan but i love italy i've been to italy a few times i've visited a few different cities but never been to milan always wanted to go so yeah there's going to be a little mariana in milan um, series here on the channel this summer um, of me living in Milan by myself and how classes go. Whenever I find out about a new university that like catches my attention, I always like to go on YouTube and search for videos of their students talking about the university or the course. I always try to find videos made by the students for their own YouTube channel, so like my channel, instead of the videos that students do for the universities. YouTube channel. For this summer course at Yed Milan in particular, I couldn't really find anything by any student, so I will be doing that because it might be helpful to people thinking about applying. So make sure to subscribe and keep an eye out on the channel for that. Today, uh, fashion week. So I'm going to that talk today and on Saturday I am going to a show. This is not my first time uh, going to Lisbon Fashion Week. I've been a few different times. I think this is my fourth time 
uh, attending Fashion Week in Lisbon. And I'm super grateful and lucky that I get to go because if you know me, you know that I want to pursue a career in the fashion industry or I would love to at least. I come from an economics and business background. I love marketing and I love fashion so I would love to one day combine those two. Uh, but let me tell you something. I feel like a lot of people who have never been to Fashion Week have this perception that's not like 100% accurate. Fashion Week is fun and like I said, I'm lucky and really grateful that I get to go, but it's not as glamorous as it seems. Like I'm literally right now getting ready to leave. It was extremely sunny, which I was really like happy for when I woke up because I'm wearing a t-shirt today, but now the weather is weird. You go there, you don't know how people are going to act. There have been times in which people have been, I'm not gonna say mean, but not the nicest. Yeah, not as glamorous. I never plan my outfits for fashion week like um, super super well because I always find out that I'm going like extremely last minute. Last time I went to fashion week, I found out I was going like two hours before. <laughs> So I had to come up with something quick that time. Still, I really like my fit, so I stand by it. But this time I actually had a little bit more time to think about it. And by a little bit more time, I didn't even have a full week, but that's still more time than last time. And I wanted for today to go for a pop of red because I love wearing red. Uh, and I saw this picture of Emma Chamberlain wearing a t-shirt with a red bra on top. So I tried to do that. And then I just tied a knot in the back because the t-shirt is too long. I'm wearing a black skirt and probably some red converse. I am not sure. But I also want to do a hairstyle. I never do hairstyles. But I've been doing this one for college the past few days that I've been loving. So I really want to do it. And I also have some red lace that I want to try and incorporate into the hairstyle. I don't know why I'm trying to do so much. It's just a lecture. It's not like um, a show. So I don't know if people are going to go like all out for the lecture. But Fashion Week is like you never, especially here in Portugal, because I always think, okay, I'm good because usually people here don't really love these kind of things. They don't really like the whole dressing up or because they give you weird looks on the street. But for Fashion Week, people always like, they show up. So I don't know, maybe they'll still do that even if it's just a lecture or at least like I'm kind of doing it. I don't know, I feel like in some countries this is like probably normal. I mean, not normal, but not like super weird. But here you get weird looks for like so many outfits. It's crazy, but I like it. Um, hopefully everything goes well. I think I'm gonna like stop recording and I'll show you the final look in a little bit because I don't want to be late. So see you in a sec. All right, guys, it's 3.26 p.m. right now. Here's the makeup. I don't know if I went to overboard. And then I have two braids on each side and this little thing, hopefully it doesn't fall. And I'm gonna show you the outfit now. All right, the lightning is not the best, but this is what we have going on today. Red Converse with white socks. This black skirt is from Zara and Bershka t-shirt. I actually don't know where this is from, but I like it. Thing is, it's too cold to wear just this, so I'm gonna put a black leather blazer on top. I'll show you how that looks in a second. Okay, here it is. I feel like this is the most scuffed vlog ever. To be honest, I don't feel 100% okay. I am a bit tired today, but I'm gonna get through it. And we're gonna go to Fashion Week, and I'm going to have to catch a train. Maybe I'm just anxious. Maybe that's it. Here is the fit. I don't know what else to say. I'm kind of a tiny bit late, so I'm gonna go now. Bye. I haven't worn these shoes in forever, and it feels so tight, it's insane. Update, 
I made it to Lisbon, but my card for the train wasn't working when I got to the last station. So I had to leave the station with another girl who was really kind to help me and two other girls whose cars also weren't working, but then this girl's card stopped working as well. It was really confusing, but yeah, I made it to Lisbon and I think I'm going to call for an Uber right now. Oh my God, not the banks flying away, what the hell? Um, yeah, I'm gonna call an Uber right now to go meet up with my mom who is coming to the event with me today because I bring her everywhere. Bye. The Uber app didn't work. So I got in a taxi. And now we're stuck in traffic. Now I'm back in the car with my mom and we're on our way. But there's a lot of traffic and there's a football game around here today, which makes it 10 times worse. We shall see. We're here. We made it on time. And I'm whispering because I hate filming in public. It's 8.30 p.m. I'm tired but it just ended. Oh my God, I'm about to fall on the street. It just ended and I really liked it. I'll talk more about it later on the vlog because now I'm tired and I need to go eat something, but I really enjoyed it. So we're on our way home now and it was really insightful. It felt like a university class, like my strategy and my marketing classes, but like applied to the fashion industry which just makes me more excited to go to the summer program. I think it's going to be really fun. It wasn't necessarily tailored to people who enjoy design. If you like design, you would have still liked the lecture, but it was more structured to, oh my God, redlining, so cute. It was more structured towards business. I don't know, but he was talking a lot about business models and stuff like that, which I hear about all the time in college but from the perspective of fashion and fashion brands and i really liked his take on how important gen z is to designers right now i agreed with him on that i really liked his take on it and his take on sustainability within the fashion industry as well i'll talk more about it later on because now it's late and we need to get home so yeah that's gonna be it for today that's a wrap on fashion week day number one and I'll see you on the next day. Hey guys, welcome to Fashion Week day number two. I am getting ready to go to the shows today. I'm putting on some sunscreen, even though it's raining a lot. I need to get ready pretty quickly because it's raining, so I'm assuming there's a bit more traffic. Like I said last time, every time I talk while doing my makeup, I feel like it takes me three times longer to do my makeup so I'm gonna try and keep it short but I did say I would come on here and talk a little bit about the talk and the event that I went to on Wednesday I really really enjoyed it it was really interesting right when I left I was trying to talk a little bit about it but I was so tired I'm afraid I wasn't explaining myself too well it kind of reminded me a little bit of one of my classes but I don't want you to think that oh it was boring as hell because it wasn't. I am a management student and I want to work in fashion, but in like the business side of it. So not as a designer, for example. One of the things he talked about, I think it was actually the first thing, like he went over a few different topics, uh, but the first one, I think it was the one I'm about to mention, it was whether or not we're going through a fashion renaissance uh, or not and he came to the conclusion that we aren't and that there actually hasn't been one in a while he says that the last one that was like an extremely big movement was during the 90s for like the grunge aesthetic and I quite agree wasn't born in that um, era but I do love myself some grunge looks it's 
definitely one of my favorite aesthetics one of my favorite type of looks i love 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 it but i agree he was basically saying that in order for like a fashion renaissance to occur it's almost as if it's tied with something political or something that's going on in the world or in a specific country at the moment and there hasn't really been anything that big as of more recent so he thinks that as of right now we're seeing more like micro trends and not necessarily a fashion renaissance realistically as consumers and that's another uh, topic that he talked about as consumers we are not sustainable we buy a lot because there are so many new micro trends all the time another thing he talked about was that was sustainability within the fashion industry because we always talk about sustainability in fashion from like a business point of view so is the brand doing everything they can like are they producing in a sustainable way in an ethical way but we never talk about it from the consumer point of view because as consumers we consume a lot there are all these micro trends he also mentioned that there are a lot of people trying to figure out who they are so they're trying out a bunch of different things so yeah he says that the sustainability topic is becoming unsustainable because a lot of people talk about it but no one is really addressing this consumer point of view and they always talk about the brand and he says that he's been to a lot of different um, manufacturers and he has seen it with his own eye that a lot of these brands are already doing everything they can in order to one produce in a sustainable way but to still make profit because at the end of the day it's a business that was mostly it i think i'm gonna finish getting ready now and i'll show you the finished result in a little bit okay so i'm almost done with my makeup i've been watching tara yummy youtube videos while doing my makeup because she's the people's princess um, but I just remember, I never told you what show I'm going to. I am going to the Yet Graduates fashion show, which basically means that I get to see the collections of a few of Yet's graduating students from both Italy and Spain this year. So I'm really excited because not only do I get to go to a show, I also get to go to a show in which I'm going to see a few different collections from the minds of a few different people. So I think that's really exciting because you get to see different people's takes on fashion and the fashion trends of the moment so i'm super excited and i'm gonna go finish my makeup which is just mascara and something on the lips then i'm gonna do my hair and i'll be right back all right so i am about to leave but i promise i'd show you the look for today i kind of wanted to go for something like makeup wise more like office core but with a little hint of um, a mix of blue and white for a denim type of look but my eyes are really dry my lids are like extremely bad and have been for the past week or two so we couldn't do much but here's what we have it kind of looks a little bit gray but it's a light blue mixed in with some white to make it even more then I'm like, I don't know, but I'm gonna show you the fit now. All right, so I did a little half up, half down, and my scrunchie is denim. It's not showing up on camera, but I have this really oversized um, pastel yellow shirt from Zara that I got. It's kind of like grandpa core, but then the mini skirt that's actually shorts, perfect. It's from Bershka, and then these boots are from Bershka, but I've had them for few years now I kind of tied it like here at the back so it's a bit more scented right here I need to tie it back but yeah I want it to be a little tighter here and then loose here and unbuttoned I don't know now I have to come up with a jacket that doesn't look too bad good outfit ugly jacket that's always the case so yeah I'm gonna figure out what jacket I should wear and I'm gonna head out and like go see the show, I don't know.
is over. The show is over and it's worth It's so hard to like even get a good picture because of how windy it is and I got bangs so not really bang friendly but I was filming a clip right after I left the show but then I saw Liliana Flipa who she's like one of the Portuguese people I've been trying to meet for years I've been saying that I would talk to her and I know she was there but I hadn't seen her and then Right when I was filming, I saw her, so I like stopped recording, but I didn't go up to her, she was really busy, but maybe next time. She's like a, an entrepreneur, she has her own brand, and she's also a content creator. I really look up to her, but the show was really nice. I think it was like this way. I think it was like six collections, but they were really small collections. I think there were only like five models per collection. But there were six different collections from like different students. They were all from one student each, except for the last one. The last one was made by two students. My favorite one was the second to last. I can't remember the girl's name, uh, but I'll check it out once I can. Because I'm trying not to get run over by another car right now. Um, but I really liked it, like as soon as the first model walked in, I was like, this is my collection because I would wear every single thing and the first model walked in, I was like, I have something similar to this so I really liked it and then when the designer walked in, like the outfit she was wearing was in the part of the collection but she was also so sunny, I loved what she was wearing, I wonder if she designed her own outfit as well I don't know, I'll follow her on Instagram afterwards but I'm trying not to fall because the floor is extremely wet but yeah, now we're gonna go to the car and we're gonna go home Bye. so that was it guys, I just got home my hair is going through it but so is the weather, that's why this is happening because I literally washed my hair today it's a mess. It's a bit cold because of the weather and I'm gonna change into my pajamas really soon. I'm also gonna get something to eat, but I wanted to finish this vlog. I wanted to say thank you so much for watching and a big thanks to Yed for inviting me for today's show. It was an amazing experience. I was already so, so, so excited to go to Yed this summer and become a Yed student. Now I'm even more excited, so thank you so much. Oh my God, this lightning makes me look like a ghost. I am so sorry. I have here the program for the show. Uh, the name of the girl whose collection I really liked that I was talking about earlier, her name is Angelica Sidi. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. Her collection was named Stain. And so yeah, Angelica Sidi. She was my favorite one. I really enjoyed her collection and I just followed her on Instagram. <laughs> so yeah, that was my fashion week for this season. Hopefully I get to go to the next season. We'll see if I do. Let me know if you want me to vlog it again because I had already vlogged fashion week but only for TikTok because I didn't have a YouTube channel back then but this time I decided to try and do it for YouTube. So let me know your thoughts. If you wanna learn more about my experience in Milan and studying at Yed this summer, make sure you leave a like and you subscribe to the channel because there will be a little Milan Yed series, like a vlog series here. I'll try to get out of my comfort zone and film more outside the house, especially since it's a new country. I'm literally never gonna see those people again in my life because they're all strangers because I don't live there. So yeah, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. And if you enjoy makeup, fashion and vlogs, more specifically concert vlogs, make sure to subscribe because that's mostly what I do here on YouTube. And I'm also really active on TikTok. I post there every single day and you can find the link in the description box down below and also the link to every other social media platform that I'm in, which are probably all of them. <laughs> Thank you guys so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye!